Hello, good, is it morning still? It is still morning, good morning on this cold and bright and beautiful day. I hope you are all staying warm and toasty, but also able to get a nice breath of fresh, crisp air too, um, and some enjoyment in your day. We're going to do some prayer together and reflection uh, from daily prayer for all seasons. And <clears throat> when I was going through the epiphany sections of this of this resource today, one of them is entitled Perseverance and Renewal. Um, it's th This is uh, what they have set aside for the midday hour, which fits our timing as well. Um, and I had some thoughts about what perseverance and renewal might actually mean or look like if we did it um, maybe differently than we're used to. So uh, let's start and pray. We long for glory. Transform us with your glory. Let us pray. Holy One, you know our needs before we ask. Grant that we may persevere in our prayers for the needs of all creation and renew our trust in your loving care for us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The scripture selected for today is from the Gospel of John. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. The water became wine. Jesus did this, the first of his signs in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Here ends the reading. The meditation prompt offered today is, <clears throat> in the name of God, stop a moment, close your work, look around you. What can we let go this hour, and how will it free us to use our gifts with greater joy? I really like that the meditation and the question that is offered in connection with perseverance and renewal is asking what can we let go of and how will it free us to use our gifts with greater joy. Uh, driving to work yesterday, I had the radio on and a commercial for the um, new VIX Honey, it's probably not so new anymore. I don't know. The new Vicks Honey came on and, and it was fine. It was fine commercial. No problem. But at the end, it's, they said, um, Vicks Honey, take it so that you can power through the day, something like that. And that just struck me. We get sick. We get colds. We don't feel well. And so we take medicine. Fine, good, take medicine to ease your symptoms. But the implication there that was stated perfectly in this commercial um, and is there all the time, even if it's not stated clearly, is that you take the medicine so that you can push through your day, so that you can power through. Even though so many times when our bodies get sick, it's our body's way of telling us to slow down, to do the opposite and not power through, but instead just breathe, rest, recover, let your body do what it needs to do to be well so that then you can actually get up and not need that medicine to power through, but your own natural energy and self can power through on its own. So what message 
are we subliminally or or you know straightforward telling ourselves that it is more important to power through than to care for ourselves and we tell this story in so many ways we lift up saints who powered through who did incredible things even at cost to them to their own selves to their lives to their bodies to their wellness and we say what incredible men and women they were and we lift them up as people to aspire to i'm not saying that's a bad thing it's beautiful the work that so many of our saints who we celebrate did in order to help others to love and to serve God's creation. And when that is the piece of their lives that we pull out and that we say this is all of who they were and we say this is all of who I want to be, then we're telling ourselves that each and every moment of our lives, we need to live like that saint did. Like that one snapshot of that saint's life. Those things that were pulled out of the hundreds of thousands of hours of their lives that were lived and do exactly what they did. Only we forget that it wasn't just hours of their lives, days, months, years that for us then it becomes every moment of every day when it was not for them either. I don't know if that all made sense the way that was said there, but <clears throat> what I'm trying to remind all of us um, is that powering through is not always the best solution and that the stories we tell to ourselves, the stories that are shared around our world, around our communities and our society, shape how we respond. We call mothers, dads too, all parents, but tends to be mothers specifically, super mom, when they are able to do all things all at once. And we say, wow, how do you do it? I wish I could be like you. I wish I could juggle everything and do it all with a smile on my face and be at ease and always seem calm and collected and together. Why can't I be like that? Well, I wonder that too. But other people look at me and they ask me those same things. I don't feel like I've got it all together. I don't feel like I'm sailing through life and I always know what I'm doing and I can have all the balls in the air all the time. I feel like a mess half the time. I'm late almost always and that's something I've just had to acknowledge. And still, I am a created child of God and I don't have to be perfect and I don't have to have it all together and I don't have to keep all of those balls up in the air. I wonder if instead of saying, wow, look at that parent who was sick and still took care of their kids and got them to school on time or made the breakfast or did all the things, what if we told a different story? What if we said, wow, look at that parent who instead of trying to do it all said, I am sick, dear family. I am going to be in bed and you all will survive because you know what to do. And I'm here in an emergency. What if that was the story? What if the, the, the um, Tylenol honey, no, it's not Tylenol, Dayquil honey said, Take this so that when you rest in bed, you can actually sleep and your family can take care of you and you can be well tomorrow and power through your day then. What if the message that we sent to each other was different and lowered those demands that we place upon ourselves, upon moms to need to do all? to need to keep all the balls in the air, not just want to, but need to, 
to feel that pressure to put that out into the world? What if perseverance and renewal was different than how our world demands it to be? You get all this from a, from a, a medicine commercial. <laughs> Um, and I'm not promoting the medicine. I couldn't take it. I thought the honey tasted really bad, but you could try it. Maybe it'll work for you and let you power through. Um, I'm not here to promote any sort of medication or what you need or should or shouldn't do, but really just to reflect. Reflect on the story that you tell yourself, the stories that are told around, about, for, to you, and choose how you want to persevere and how you want to find renewal. Okay, let's pray. When we labor and are laden with worries and cares, refresh us, O Christ. When our hands are not ready to accept help, renew our trust, O Christ. When we grow weary of loving others, love us, O Christ. We offer you the cares of our hearts. And as we lift our hopes and joys to you, hear us, O Christ. Amen. I send you back out into this chilly world, hopefully with renewal and refreshment. I look forward to seeing many of you soon and um, greeting more of you online in the days to come. Okay, enjoy your day.